so it just completely rewired what money was. For Terry Matthews, money was an instrument of change. He had a market cap, he's like, wow, that's $8 billion of change, $10 billion of change, $15 billion of change. Versus, there was another guy building a company at the time, his name was Michael Copeland, who ran a company called Corel, also a billionaire. And he was the exact opposite. Had a messy divorce, married some trophy wife. He took this obscene, shiny glass from his building and covered his house in it. And so you had this, this really, this dichotomy of two different characters at that time in the 90s building really interesting businesses. Corel, which was a reasonable business. Newbridge, which was a reasonable business. They were both very successful, but they manifested money so totally differently. And I was like, I want to be this guy. You know, I want to be this mega compounder swashbuckling around trying to do really cool shit in the world. How do I do that?